Hello everyone again, here we are, the PCZ Rover team from Częstochowa University of Technology in Poland. Welcome to the video demonstrating our Modernity 3 Plus rover, which has been improved and enhanced in all crucial aspects such as reliability and trustworthiness by our talented students attending the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Information Technology. For the last year, our team has grown in members significantly. Most of the previous engineers graduated and gave way to the younger students, sharing experience and guiding them in potential difficulties they would have to overcome. Most of our current members attend the first or second year of their studies, providing the team with fresh energy and ideas. They pass their exam and this video summarizes their achievements in developing our rover. The rover itself is based on our trusted and well-tested body constructed of true aluminum frame with several bending points, allowing the rover to fold and fit perfectly into measurement frame of 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter. Its improvements concentrated on enhancing the structure of the body to eliminate potential looseness and worn parts, as well as further reducing the rover's mass without losing its quality. As always, a fully equipped rover does not exceed 49 kilograms of weight. This year, we are working on adapting our wheels to fit brushless DC hub motors, which will provide us with more power and greater precision. New motors will positively affect the rover's driving capabilities in various grounds, such as concrete, sand, stones, or mud. Thanks to the six-wheel design and the lowered center of gravity, which improves overall stability, the rover can easily climb the stairs or pass the 45-degree inclination. On flat surface, the rover maintains 18 km per hour. The other very important part of the mechanical system is manipulator, which has been refurbished and reinforced. Six degrees of freedom and interchangeable just allow it to serve precisely for different purposes, ranging from grabbing large objects, collecting soil samples, or pressing buttons in equipment service mission. The tight design creates force enabling the manipulator to lift up to 9 kg while being easy to remove from the rover frame. All these mechanical equipment elements can be precisely controlled using two joystick controllers, one for driving, other for the manipulator. Moreover, the fabric inverse kinematic system allows the manipulator to follow exactly and interpret human hand moves. This system cooperates with accelerometers installed on each member. All aforementioned mechanical solutions need to be supervised in a reliable way, therefore we created a completely new control panel for PC and mobile devices written using C++ and Python languages. It's fully integrated with rovers moving parts and sensors such as GPS. It allows us to control all drive and micro aspects, follow them up with GPS and coordinates, control the scientific module mechanism and the autonomy computer, check communication and frames and, what's the very important, visualize the rover and manipulator's position using seven cameras placed on board the rover, depicting different areas and angles with optional rotation using several Five of them are high-resolution IP cameras, while two are stereoscopic cameras, which enable users to monitor the whole critical area around the robot. The biggest changes this year are visible in electric and electronic side of the rover. It's continuously powered by lithium polymer batteries, up to three at once, which allow the rover to operate up to two hours without any break. However, all the core electronic system is now based on NVIDIA Jackson TX2 onboard computer. The system serves communication, driving, manipulating the scientific module and autonomy. Communication of the rover with the base is carried out using three frequency boards of 2.4 GHz, 5.8 GHz, and 433 MHz, connecting to the antenna mast, which automatically rotates towards the current rover position. The autonomy mission preparation has been significantly improved with the new software. The new Z2 3D camera on board the rover cooperates with Jetson Computer implementing the convolution neural network created in Python TensorFlow library. The Z2 camera analyzes the terrain searching for the AR codes, and what's new? Objects painted orange are recognized properly. The advanced algorithms allow the rover to detect and avoid obstacles, as well turn toward the desirable heading and GPS coordinates. The rover position is signalized using free color light. The science mission consists of four main parts, the container, revolver, spectrometer, and luminometer. First, the soil is placed inside the container with four separate parts filled with distilled water using manipulator equipped with special digger-like claws. Next, the solution is pumped through the pipes to the revolver and spectrometer. The rotating revolver contains test tubes and chemical reagents for colometric directions, observed remotely through the IP camera. The spectrometer box is equipped with revolver containing covets with self-coded software. The luminometer is installed outside of the rover in easily accessible point for plugging in the swaps. The swap change system as well as all the water circulation devices have been designed using the SolidWorks environment. The luminometer is very important because it allows us to detect any forms of living matter within several minutes. Every signal and every trace of chemical reaction or special changes indicating any presence of proteins, amino acids or ATPs is quickly detected and sent to the team remotely. Moreover, we have a supporting AI software for detecting rocks using the rover's onboard cameras which has proven to be particularly useful during extreme delivery mission. Safety is a crucial part of the mission success, therefore our rover is equipped with several systems ensuring no damage will happen. First, in case of emergency, pressing the red button on the top of the rover cuts off the power. It's also used for turning the rover on and off. Moreover, the scientific system is solid steel box, preventing its contents from leaking. All chemical reagents have been checked for safety instructions. They will be transported in properly labeled containers preventing contamination and utilized ecologically by our university disposal service. We are ready to meet you again.